Hello everyone, Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology here, and uh, today we're going to install uh, Cyanogen Mod 7 and onto this, in, this Nook tablet. This is the 8 gigabyte version. Everything that we do will either be for 8 or 16 unless we tell you differently. And uh, today we're going to install that. The first thing you do is turn the power off and make sure that the power is off on the device. This doesn't matter if you have stock or if you have another ROM on any case. This, the way we're doing it here will work in any case. Okay, so the first thing we do is, as I said, turn the power off and then we're going to uh, insert the SD card that I have the Clockwork Mod image burned to. This is just a 256 meg, meg, meg not gig, file. And uh, if you have a, a bootable image on the SD card, then when you power up, the NT should boot to that image. Okay, and here we are. We've got a box. That box says that we're going into recovery mode. So I turned it into uh, landscape because that's the way we use it. Uh, it comes up with a landscape menu. Okay. And there's your menu from Clockwork Mod version 5.0.2.8, okay? Now, normally you do not remove an SD card while it's in operation, but since this card is not being used other than to just copy information from it, it's not being burned uh, with any image, any uh, information from the device, it's okay to remove it. We're going to install another disk, another SD card, just a standard SD card, not bootable, just a standard SD card that has the ROM image on it. Okay. Now, I have already done a backup, but if you have not done a backup uh, of your device, then you might want to, while you have the, uh, the uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery in here, you might want to go to the backup uh, item on the menu. There's a backup item. And once you go there, then you'll, it'll enable you to back up. And as long as there's room on that SD card that you put in there, it'll back it up. It takes about two gigabytes to back up the entire disk. This backs up everything, whatever you have on the device at that time. Okay, so, but we've already done that. So the first thing we want to do is wipe the data factory cache, uh, factory, uh, to the factory reset. Okay, so we push the home button or the nook button and it gives us an option to make sure we, that's what we want to do. We tell it yes. And it takes a moment. According to how much data you have, it takes a little bit longer sometimes, but this is basically a just a straight stock with nothing on it, so it, takes, it goes pretty quick. And then we want to wipe the cache partition. Some people say this is not necessary since it already was done in the last step, but just to be sure. And then we go to advanced and wipe the Dalvik cache and make sure that all that's clear. Okay? And once it's done, then we go back and you push the power button to go back. And at this point, we want to apply, uh, uh, I'm sorry, to install a zip from SD card. There we go. Install zip from SD card. If you already had your uh, backup, make sure that you did have a backup. And uh, then we do the uh, wipe data factory reset and clear both caches. Now we install the zip and it says, do you want to choose the zip from SD card? And yes, we do. And here's the one, the uh, version that I have is the CM7 Alpha from Team B and we push the uh, Nook button to select it. Go down here and it gives us one last chance to make sure because once you push the Nook button this time you're committed. This is clearing off everything that was on the device. If you had stock, stock is removed. If you had another ROM, that ROM is removed. Everything is going to be removed at this point in time. It clears it all off. The only thing that remains is your serial number data and and such uh, hardware issues. And now it's running and it's installing the update and it says it's finished. Okay, so uh, we go back and reboot the system. Before we reboot, it's a good idea to go ahead and take the SD card out since we won't be using it now. Okay. SD card is out and we're going to reboot the system and see what happens. We're coming up Team B.
and we're in a boot loop. Okay. Now this is called a boot loop. This is what I intended uh, because this particular version is not compatible with the internal memory of the 8 gigabyte version. It will only run in a 16 gigabyte version. So we're in a boot loop now and the device is bricked. Now uh, in, the, in another episode I will show you how to unbrick this device. Okay. So right now all we're going to do is just turn it off and I'll bid you adieu until the next video. Okay. Goodbye.